I just think that this has been for me an amazing place because of the students and the faculty and the staff. I mean, I just think that if people just keep believing in uh, their dreams. I mean, that it's staying committed to their belief that kids can succeed and what we do here is really important and supporting each other in doing it uh, because it is a lot about us supporting each other in doing it. And um, I think the other thing is that, um, that we have open dialogue, that we're willing to do what the academy is supposed to do. We're going to have disagreements. We're going to have to change the way we think as society changes. And that we continue to just hold ourselves accountable, but in a warm, supportive, positive way and, and have dialogue about our, our mission and, and our goals. Well, I, what I really hope students take away is a sense that all children can be successful. All children want to be successful their parents want them to be and that when students make behavior errors when they're not acting the way we'd like that that it's not about the student it's about our creating an environment that where the student can be successful and our taking responsibility for that and I just think it's a different way to think about uh, discipline or behavior problems or student behavior in schools that it's the, you know there's skill deficits there's environmental mismatches and we have control over a lot of the variables and we can create environments where virtually all kids can behaviorally and academically succeed and you take that away and it just changes the way you look at education, it changes the way you look at children and I think it empowers you and it, you can use that to empower children. I mean I love to teach and I think that I've done it well and I've enjoyed it. Um, so I mean people ask what have you really done that you think is the most important and I'd say teaching, uh, being chairing the committee that's developed the idea of the grad school and put forward the concept of having a separate graduate school as part of the mission planning process. That would be another because I think it changed how we do business in the grad school. And certainly for me the other would be I've written some books, particularly in classroom management, secondarily in behavior disorders that, that have really defined the field um, and been used once in five languages I think. and. Um, I think it has changed the way teachers in this country and other places look at responding to behavioral errors that kids make um, in classrooms, we, what we used to call discipline or misbehavior. I prefer behavioral errors. Um, and it really has defined the field and changed it. And that's, you know, when I look back, doing something like that is incredibly gratifying. I just really enjoy working with faculty, especially junior faculty, and helping move their careers forward. But the, the teaching, I mean, it's that's the piece I'm. I'm going to miss. I was cleaning up my office a bit last weekend when I was up here working and, and went, wow, I, you know, that's putting away these materials is, that's what I'm going to miss is engaging the students, watching them grow. Yeah.